Hello and welcome to Geology, the channel dedicated to making concepts in biology simple, easy to understand and interesting. Today we are going to look at parts of a flower at a very basic level. But before that, let me ask you, why do you think plants have flowers? Let me tell you, plants have flowers from very, very old times almost as old as 140 million years ago, that is during the Jurassic period. But why? Well, that's because the flowers play an important role in sexual reproduction cycle of the plants. So the flowers are the reproductive structures of the plant. Now, what is a flower? A flower is a specialized shoot in which the leaves have been modified into floral parts. Now, these floral parts are the parts of the flower which we are now going to see in detail. Yeah. Start with the first part is the stalk or the pedicel which supports the flower. Now, some flowers may not have a stalk and then they are known as sessile. So, the tip of the stalk may be expanded to form what is known as the thalamus or the receptacle and it is on the thalamus or the receptacle that the floral parts are born. Now the flower has four worlds. The first world is known as the calyx which consists of green leaf-like structures called sepals which forms the outermost world. So the sepals basically protects the flower in the bud condition. The second world, which is the rolla, is interior to the sepals and is formed of petals, which are large, brightly colored structures. Petals serve to attract animals or insects due to their bright colors and helps in pollination. The third world is the androsium, which is formed of stamens and this is the male reproductive part of the plant. How do we remember that? Let me give you a small tip. The word stamen has men in the end. It's just a tip. That will help you remember that stamen or the androsium are the male reproductive parts of the plant. So a stamen comprises of um, two parts the filament and the anther. So stamen are long thread-like processes which project out and usually end in a bilobed tip. So the thread-like portion of this stamen is the filament and the bilobed structure is the anther. So the anther is a sac-like structure within which the uh, pollen grains develop. Now the fourth world is the uh, gynecium but before that some flowers may contain a structure called nectary which is found below the stamen and the nectaries help in uh, producing nectar which attracts insects uh, for pollination. The fourth world is the gynecium or the female part of the uh, flower. So the female part is made up of centrally located pistil that can be formed of a single female unit of or carpal or sometimes even fused carpal. Each carpal comprises of three parts again, the stigma, style and ovary. So ovary is at the base, the middle is the style and the uppermost portion is the stigma. Ovary contains numerous ovules and ovules are the part of the plant uh, which further develops into seeds. Now, do you know that all of these parts may not be necessary and even if some of the parts are not available, still the flower can help in reproduction or the plant can reproduce. So parts like sepal, petal, that is the calyx and corolla are known as the 
non essential world because even if they are not present flower can still perform all the required activities or the functions that it is meant to perform however parts like the stamen that is andrisium and gynesium at least one of them is required for the flower to be fertile if both the parts are present then the flower is bisexual if the stamen is present then it's a male flower if pistil is present it's a female flower but these parts at least one of them is said necessary to be present in the plant or in the flower for it to be fertile so then these parts are known as the essential parts of the flower now the sexual reproduction in plant occurs when the pollen from the anther is transferred to the stigma through a process which is known as pollination and that is what we are going to see in our next video so stay tuned for the next video to come and for now uh, stay back to take up a few questions if you like the video do like subscribe and share and uh, see you in the next video